Jessica and we're going to do just a small get ready with me. Um, and this is a collab and this is for Merry Makeup and More's birthday. So I'm going to put her channel link in the description box and the playlist in the description box. I don't do many collabs lately, but it's Mary from Bay Hair Makeup and More. <laughs> so I've known her for a few years on here on YouTube and she's always been super supportive and super friendly and she's just open for everything. I don't know where she gets her energy from, but um, I'm going to, her thing is purple. So I'm going to do my best to do a purple look. Uh, I'm going to kind of try to go all out there. I'm not sure how this is going to work or turn out, but I'm going to use um, some of these liners some flakes, this Gourmand Girls palette, and the cake palette, and just see what happens. Okay, so I already prepped my eyes, did my eyebrows. Y'all, don't laugh at my eyebrows. I gotta get them done. Um, just haven't had no time. But here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start this. Let me get my brushes together first right. off. I'm just gonna go with the Warm and Toasty from that Gourmand Girls palette with the big fat ass brush. Oh God, the lighting, I'm telling you. And I'm just gonna, ew, gonna pack it on there. Like, okay, there I can see better now. I'm just gonna pack it on there. A lot of what's going on the lid is going to be removed. I haven't really done my foundation yet. I've only like, um, done like the eye priming and the skin priming and stuff like that. Cause uh, that's a good possibility of fallout. So I'm just going to uh, do it like that. Just as simple as that. And um, let me see what, a, what other purple I want to use. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little smaller brush. And I'm just going to just do that right there. And this is uh, Slay Queen from Gourmand Girls. And I'm not even going to attempt to blend that. Not yet anyways, because I, I don't really even know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. All right, I need a different brush, and another different brush, and another different brush. All right, so this next color I want to try and use is called Lavender, and it's from the Glam Light Cake Palette. I'm gonna do my under eye with that one. I'm gonna carry it a little deep. Yeah, so it's nice. And look at them damn bags. Piss me off. And then I'm going to take the... What's it called? Purple Frost. And that's what it looks like. And I'm going to go right there. One eye always looks better than the other. It's just something else. I swear, it's a day-to-day -day challenge, and the struggle is real when you get older. Like two years ago, this would have been a five-minute job. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to get me a, a brush that's a bit skinnier, kind of like this. And I'm going to go into a dark purple that's Slay Queen again. And I'm going right on the waterline with that one. All the way to the inter corner, inter corner. So I'm not going to cut the crease just yet. I'm going to go with this um, lavender color. Let's wipe this off. Let's go on with this lavender color. It's like a shimmer. Well, that's part of it. And this is from the Glam Light, and I'm just going to kind of 
tuck it right there. It'll all turn out once I'm done. Okay, now let's go up there a little bit. I'm gonna have to go back over it again though once I cut that crease. All right, so I'm gonna cut my crease just like a little bit in, in there and I'll so be right This back. does look a little sloppy, but it's all going to work out. I still need to get some, well, I have some glitter glue, which I'm definitely gonna need with the flakes. Let me get this a little bit out there. So if I put it on too thick, what I do, and I have a lot left over here, I just wipe it. And then go over it a little more. So I get that kind of like dry. And it's not too gonky. Okay. Oh, all else fails. Too dry, so I'm going to take this blueberry, which is like a dark shimmer. It's like a dark, well, I had the lavender, now we're doing the blueberry. I'm going to smudge the blueberry all across the lid. This is going to be really a heavy shadow. Glad you picked purple and not pink. Boy, I can't stand wearing pink. I cannot stand it. I'm so down for anti-Valentine's Day looks. I mean, I love Valentine's Day. Don't get me wrong. But I'm so for those looks. Because you don't have to wear pink. You can wear like red and black. Alright, let's go into this lavender one more time. Scoot it over there. And now we're going to get the glitter glue. So I'm done with the palettes. As far as I'm concerned, I've got the NYX glitter glue. And uh, put some right there. I don't know how much I'll be using. But better to put enough on than not enough. Because it'll dry, you know. So let's get a little brush. I swore I had a flatter one than that. Here, we'll just get one flat like this. It's not too thick, not too thin. All right. Don't want it too cakey. I'm going to just pat that right over that blueberry. Then I'm going to wipe it with a little excess on it now. If it's not much, just do a little like that on a sparse spot. And then we're going to take these Lorena, cause, uh, Lorena makeup and put it over a napkin because it is a mostly bridge. These are duochrome flags and I think she would like those. I'm taking it from the lid first. And then I'm going to just dab my brush in there. And now it's going to get bigger. Every time I wear this bitch, I get compliments. Go up to the crease. You kind of really want to press it. This is why I love buying shit like this. Okay, so I'm going to do the other one. Right, it's done. Oh my God, it looks like a little mess in here, but it's not that bad because I know what I'm dealing with. I'm going to take a bigger brush now and just 
kind of swipe off what's loose. And this is the reason why I didn't do my foundation first. Okay, and then I'm going to rub it a little. And I'm going to go just like barely touching that. I really don't want to touch it much. Just to get it softer, because I know it looks kind of harsh. I don't want any, uh, let's flick it out this way. All right, so now we're going to fix the liner. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I still have glitter on my eyelashes. Be gone, bitch. Okay, so I'm just going to. Or my blender. Okay. So next, let's get um, a glitter. I want to go with gold, just because everything else is already silvery. And I'm just going over the top of the crease line. It's not going to be really on point because it's like flakes we're doing with here. I'm just going to do that to make it look cleaner. Okay. And I got these two from Timo. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to tape my eyes so I can do my liner and my lashes. Oh, there's the liner. They're not the same length, but if you're that close to find out, you're a little too close, so let's go ahead and take it off. Snatched. Okay, so I'm going to put on some lashes, y'all, and I'm going to do the rest of my face and a little bit of with my hair so I can make this stand out a little healthier looking. I'll be right back with the end results. It's all about fun times. Okay, so here is my finished purple look. Maybe it'll look better. Yeah, it looks better from the top. You can see the flakes a little better. But anyways, and I couldn't do much with my hair because they're still kind of wet. But, um, Mary, I hope you enjoy what the girls have all put together for you. Um, if I was with you, I'd definitely take you out to eat. I know you like bread cookies on because I know you like to cook food. And, um, ah, we'd get our nails done and hang around and some shit but I want to wish you the happiest birthday ever and I want to say thank you for your support um, and thanks for keeping us women together because you really do you are a perfect example of keeping women together especially with the women who collapse so I really appreciate that and I just hope you have the happiest birthday ever that is it.